The Honourable Member for Dermot North. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Environment. It's easy to forget through the winter months that next summer will be another summer when Dartmouth lakes are plagued by invasive weeds and algae blooms. But winter is the time when we need to be planning ahead. Despite a hopeful first meeting with the Minister and staff last year, recent attempts to follow up with the Minister on community demands for Dartmouth lakes have been met with silence. Mr. Speaker, can the Minister please provide an update on his department's work to protect Dartmouth lakes? The Honourable Minister of the Environment. I thank the honourable member for the question. Um, certainly, these urban lakes are under pressure. There's, there's no question. Anytime we have uh, the development that we see in HRM um, and these beautiful water courses uh, coinciding, there are, there are challenges. And, and obviously, invasive species, which, by the way, is, is mainly under the auspice of lands and forestry. But we do take this seriously. I appreciate the work that's been done also by the, uh, by the members from not only Dartmouth South but Dartmouth North. Uh, in bringing this uh, to our attention. There's a multi-jurisdictional uh, approach that we have here. It's not just environment, it's not just lands and forestry, but also HRM. And we do have a, um, a water course advisory group that I think that represents that area to, uh, to look into what we can do to make things better there. The Honourable Member for Dermot North. Mr. Speaker, hundreds of community members came out on a summer evening last year to share their thoughts and concerns about Dartmouth's urban lakes. The lakes have tremendous ecological, economical and recreational value. They are part of Dartmouth's identity. The challenges facing the lakes are complex, with multiple contributing issues, governing policies and cross-jurisdictional responsibility. The resident, the resident ask from the community was that an Urban Lakes Commission be convened to work collabor collaboratively towards solutions. Mr. Speaker, will the Minister commit to establishing an Urban Lakes Commission as requested by the community? The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Again, I, I do appreciate the, uh, the passion and the work that has been done by, um, by my colleagues uh, from Dartmouth North and Dartmouth South. I've also uh, met with uh, one of the councillors, Councillor Mancini, for that area. I believe the uh, Member of Parliament for that area. We've also sat and talked about that. And, and uh, my commitment will be, as, uh, as I have outstretched my arms before, I certainly would love to sit down with the members across the floor as soon as we can possibly, again, to work on how we can find collaborative ways to work together on uh, solving this problem. Thank you.